and I'm so excited to talk with you today. Ever before, can you guess what? This is the hundred drop of the living water. Yes, we brought one hundred drops already. So I thank God we made it by the grace of God we made it. And I believe that you collected all these things. If you have collected all these 100 drops in your tank, my congratulations. And we can celebrate together. We made it. So comment underneath if you are one of them and we'll celebrate together. Right. Let's move on. We are talking about the characteristics of the person who was uh, transformed with the resurrection of Christ Jesus. We learned a couple of things and we already talked some things, very uh, specific things and still we need to move forward because resurrection we just celebrated and if we uh, go back to our normal life after resurrection Sunday, it means nothing. It was just one day marked on the calendar. Oh, this is Easter Sunday and we got ready and went to church or whatever it is and we went back to the normal life. It means nothing. We need to be transformed with his resurrection. And we are talking about how do we define and what are the characteristics of this transformed person with his resurrection. Let's go to Apostle Paul again. He is writing this letter to Colossians. The characteristics and the differences and the changes made in the person's life who transformed with resurrection of Christ Jesus. Let's go to Colossians chapter 3. We'll read verse 1 and 2. If then you have been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above. Where Christ is. That is very important. Where Christ is. Seated at the right hand of God. And verse 2. Set your mind on the things above. Not on the things that are on the earth. It emphasizes that. We have two things. One is the things on this earth. We focus and we work on. We work hard for the earthly life to get things. What are the things that we have worried and we try to get? Education, degree after degree, make more money, reputation, get married. Uh, what else? Promotions, uh, love and sex, the beauty. Uh, what else? Health, wealth, properties, all these things. But Apostle Paul says, not on these things, but focus on the things above. Why? These things are very much temporary. Like when we live on this earth, it is 50 years, 60 years, 70, 80. People think that, oh, wow, what a lot of years. But guess what? When we compare with, the, with the, this with eternity, eternal life is how many years? We can count. It is not thousands, millions, billions, trillions. Oh, way more than that. We can count. Comparing that eternity with this 100 years of this earthly life, it is nothing. Just a second, like blinking of the eyes. We don't get that depth of the depth of, depth of this. It is so simple and very quick it vanishes. So still we work so hard for these things. That's why Apostle Paul says not on these things, these te temporary things. Working hard on these temporary things loses our eternity. Keep it in your mind. Working hard, let me repeat, working hard on the temporary things on this earthly life loses our eternity, loses our eternal life. Therefore, he says that change your focus if you are transforming yourself with resurrection of Christ Jesus. Change your focus and seek 
the things above. What does that mean? What are the things above? Those are the spiritual things. Not physical things, not emotionals, but spiritual things. Why? We know that only spirit lives forever. This body goes to the dust and the mind dies with the body, but the spirit never dies. We learn these things in the beginning of the year. If you haven't done, haven't uh, studied all these things, go back. Uh, get the understanding. We learn dig, dig deep in these things. Physical body, mind, all these things. So, he says that he emphasizes on the things above. That means spiritual things, not the physical things. So, if you are not transformed yet, if your focus and my focus is not changed yet, this is the time. Let's make a decision and try, try our best to receive life everlasting. That is for you and me. See you tomorrow. May the Lord God bless you.